We used a random word generator to pick three adjectives, and we have to use those three words to make a Space Marine chapter, no matter how weird or inappropriate it is. This week's challenge, we have to design a Space Marine chapter that is stupendous, hesitant, and fearful. Roll that in. Welcome to Corner Case. You're watching Space Marine Roulette. I'm your host, your pen pal, your best friend, Deck. And today we're gonna design the scaredy cat of Space Marine chapters. But before we get on to the festivities, we will start every episode of Space Marine Roulette with Design Daddy's reminder. It is far better to pride oneself on the ability to make ideas than to pride oneself on any single idea. All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to do here is we have our three words, fearful, hesitant, and stupendous. I believe that fearful kind of lead to hesitation. I think those two are pretty closely related. So I'm going to work on those together and uh, I'm going to cop out a little bit. And I think stupendous should just be like stupendous branding. That's how I'm going to start my little word cloud here. Uh, what I did was I started thinking about like what space Marines could feasibly be fearful of. I play my Lamenters army, so I'm pretty in with blood angels. So I think, you know, pretty quick thing to fear off the top of my head is like their gene flaw. I also thought, you know, maybe fear of the God Emperor. You know, I feel like there's that, that phrase fear in God. And then what what about maybe like fear of like the destructive power of a, a lost relic? I feel like that kind of is going into like Dark Angels territory. So we have like a Blood Angels kind of idea, maybe a, uh, you know, a little overzealous mysterious heritage chapter idea, and then like a, a Dark Angels kind of idea. Then after thinking about it, I was thinking, okay, so that fear leads to hesitation. So if it's Blood Angels, maybe they actually are hesitant to get into close combat because they're like way too good at it. And then the God Emperor one was pretty tough. I was thinking maybe maybe something shady has got to be going on because that level of like zealousness for the God Emperor is, you know, a little potentially, potentially heretical. So I was thinking maybe they might be hesitant to work alongside other chapters. And then the Dark Angels kind of idea, I was thinking maybe they're so one-minded in their goal to pursue this lost relic that they're actually hesitant to heed the call of other chapters or planets for help lest they lose the trail that they're on. So I think with that, we actually can start exploring like quite a bit more into the story of each, but I'm liking where this is going. So basically, you know, I play a lot of um, like RPG games and when you're building out these worlds and these characters, it's kind of fun to start with a constrained amount of information. I think for our purposes now, let's just start with the smallest amount of information. So I, I came up with a couple defining event, rituals, rumors, our environment, and this will help us in our design a little bit. So for the Blood Angels defining event, thought what might be cool is like, I mean, I think this one's pretty straightforward, some kind of like accidental massacre kind of situation you know like maybe they had like some friendly fire situation they they were in a battle with a friendly chapter and maybe you know that battle was very narrowly won they fell into their black rage and when they came to you know they found that there were no survivors of the other chapter so there's kind of like a little bit of intrigue there like they blame themselves but you know we don't actually see on screen that that's potentially what happened, but they're so scared of it that it's it's affected the way that they, they do combat. So now they, they're, they're so hesitant to avoid close combat that maybe they're actually more of a gun line type of tactics, more like a, more like a Gilliman chapter or something. So that, that could be pretty cool. I think, I think just that one detail, defining event. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Okay, let's move on. So I was thinking for the Dark Angel stuff, they're hunting for this relic. So I was thinking maybe, maybe they're just in a lot of different environments. So maybe that means like different types of camouflage or maybe their color scheme is just like really, really practical across like different terrains. So a little bit less excited here, but we'll see what comes of it. And then I was thinking for the mysterious chapter, the potentially heretical chapter, that there could be, you know, some rumors, you know, that's always fun. So they're rumored to maybe they have some dark rituals and they're rumored to have been spotted taking civilian bodies slash corpses from urban battles that they're in you know and that's kind of like something that that also points to a potentially heretical heritage here all right so we have a defining event for blood angels chapter we have rumors for the potentially bad boys and we have um, just like a practical backstory for our dark angels relic hunter chapters so i did three quick concepts for my blood angels chapter 
chapters. As you'll see to the left here, the way I started was I was really stoked about kind of the old school Blood Angels orangey kind of color. And then I also wanted to show that there may be like a gunline army by either pulling in like a blue to like kind of denote Gilliman, or I was thinking like if it's more of like an aerial strike kind of thing, like they're that far away from combat, then I wanted to denote some type of like maybe sky type of color. So I put, I blocked that in and I saw it was starting to turn into this like gulf livery kind of thing, but which, which I love. I think it's just such a cool color scheme. I think these kind of like urban looking color schemes are a little bit maybe absent from, from a lot of 40k army. So I think this is actually looking pretty unique in terms of just colorways. It's not really like a meme, which I feel like I want to end up with a meme here, but it does, it does kind of tickle my fancy. Uh, the second one here in the middle was just, I was going evil vampire as hard as possible. So, you know, I know that they have a little bit of a like reverse flesh terror thing going on, um, like just the red on the chest. But I was thinking like once you start really pushing that purple and red and then that gold in there, they really start to look like, you know, royal and like slightly evil. So we want to, we're, we're pushing the like way too much black rage going on in that second color scheme. And then in this last one, I was thinking um, again, like how to kind of make it look like a completely different chapter. So I know that like the gold, the all gold is kind of a blood angel thing, but like once you start adding in the white and then start adding in the like little graphics on the helmet, then I was thinking like, oh, that, that's starting to look a lot like the, maybe maybe a lot more like a, uh, a traditional gunline chapter, I think, or or just like trying trying to be pure, like overcompensatingly close to the emperor kind of colorway, you know? So I think I think we've got some good stuff here. I'm I'm liking where we're, where we're at. Okay, so for these dark angels, I started with a unique camo pattern that I've seen before. Um, for those of you into just general model model kits, this is like a camo pattern that I've seen on machine and Krieger models that are probably inspired by some like World War II camo pattern. Uh, but I thought it would be really cool on a Space Marine, and I think I was right. Like this is an effect that probably isn't too hard to paint. You know, if you have like a little, if you just make a sponge or a thing for it first, then you can kind of just dab on those little rings. But I think it's really really sick in terms of accomplishing you know kind of a cool camo pattern, and I think it would look really cool weathered too. The, the next one in the middle, I was thinking you know how to make their peripherals look a lot more like armored. So the chest, the pauldrons, and like the greaves are all like this metallic because I was thinking if they're in like multiple terrains, those are potentially the, the bits that just get really worn. So they, they're trying to keep those like as low maintenance as possible by being just, just silver. And then in the end here, I kind of copped out and was thinking like, what's just like a conservative color scheme? Like don't notice me, but unique color scheme. And also I was kind of drawing inspiration from like old school, like explorer type of gear. And I know that like, so one, the only unique thing I really did here was the red in like the little gaskety parts of the Marine. And I was thinking that because like a lot of um, old rubber, uh, old rubber product are like in a red, you know? So I was thinking that might be one way to look, make it look a lot more grounded. And I think it does. It, it makes it look a little bit less seeker sci-fi, like high tech, I think. I think it definitely brings it down to earth a tiny bit. That's where I ended up with my uh, Dark Angel kind of ideas. I'm kind of feeling these actually way more than I was expecting. The, the story got me a lot less like excited, but once I started doing these colorways, I think, you know, drawing on like the environment for inspiration, I think, phew, I'm, I'm liking these. So I actually was kind of struggling with these. Um, I think I even repeated this last one uh, without knowing it. So that's like kind of a cool thing that happened, even though it's not like the intent is, you know, when you're going through this creative process, you know, like you kind of realize which ideas kind of resonate with you if you like accidentally just do them again. But I think, you know, starting from the left here, I did one that was like, I was thinking like an actual priest. <laughs> So, he, so maybe maybe this successor chapter could be called like the white collars and that could be pretty fun because uh, they have that like the priest white collar situation going on. Uh, then in the one in the middle, because I was thinking that like maybe this is a little overzealous chapter, Fear of the God Emperor, I was thinking by like pulling in what looks more like a Grey Knight's color scheme, you know, like I think that anything that's pushing that like closeness to the emperor, but then I was also thinking like a word bearers kind of color just, just to like, you know, add a little intrigue there. So that's what, where that second one came from was kind of like half word bears half gray knights because you know they're they're like that you know they're on that line a little bit and then yeah this this last one i was trying to go for like an actual maybe like militant uh, like a crusader but uh, i think i ended up just redoing the one on the other page like i said so overall i think this one the story was kind of fun to think of but i'm not digging the colorways i came up with here Our captain, distress signal from the planet Orak 7. The lives of a few must not be the reason the relic falls into the hands of evil. The hidden seekers shall not send aid.
So that was it. I hope you guys had fun making this, these, these crazy Space Marine chapters with me. You know, our hobby should be really creative and fun. And sometimes it just takes that little bit of extra doing something different to get you out of, the, out of your rhythm and, and making things that you're happy with again. So, you know, sketching it to start, that was the lowest effort, lowest cost possible way to experiment with things that you might not experiment with if you were just in the paint right away. So I hope you guys had fun, learned a little something. And if you guys have ideas for crazy Space Marine chapters as well, please leave them in the comments. I think in the future, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start leaking these uh, three adjectives ahead of time and maybe people can start uh, brainstorming ahead of time and those can influence the video. But yeah, hope you guys uh, had a good time. As always, uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and uh, I'll see you around. Thank you. Even in death, I still subscribe.